hello everyone uh, let's solve the problem k the nearest obstacle queries and which was asked in weekly contest 413 uh, these type of problems are the favorite problems for the interviewers because first we will first we will try to code the naive approach then we will code the optimized approach now interviewer will want to see like how you are coming from naive to optimization he will observe your problem solving skills so there is a high chance that you may encounter these type of problems in an interview so to tackle this problem right we will follow the this approach first we will understand the question clearly then we will come up with the approach like first after reading the question which approach comes to your mind we will come up with that approach then we will think can we optimize it further then we will dry run the optimized code then we will see the coding and the complexity so for better understanding please watch the video till the end so we'll see like how exactly you can solve this problem in an interview so complete we'll follow the interview approach to solve this problem first we need to understand the question clearly like there is an infinite 2d plane there is an infinite 2d plane what is 2d plane which contains x y coordinate as we learned in the our intermediate right intermediate first year second year you are given an positive integer k you are also given a 2d array queries he is saying that he has given some integer k and some 2d array queries which contain the following queries queries of i x comma y build an obstacle at coordinate x comma y so you can say that at coordinate x comma y i am building an obstacle it is guaranteed that there is no obstacle at this coordinate when this query is made and it is guaranteed that there is no obstacle when the query is hitting right when you are encountering the query there is definitely there is no obstacle at this point after each query you need to find the distance of the k th nearest obstacle from the origin is saying that so we we are at the origin origin at 0 comma 0 i'll place the obstacles at this point this point and this point at different different points i'll place the obstacles and for every query for every query i want the kth nearest obstacle so first minimum second minimum third minimum kth minimum kth nearest means kth minimum obstacle kth minimum obstacle so we need to return an integer array results the result of i denotes the kth nearest obstacle after every query so every after writing every query we need to we need to return if there is no if there is no obstacle suppose my k is equals to 2 that means my kth minimum is 2 but we have only one obstacle that means that you don't have the second obstacle right so in that scenario we will return we will put minus 1 right if uh, minus 1 if there are less than k obstacles note that initially there are no obstacles anywhere initially your 2d plane right 2d plane is empty the distance of an obstacle at coordinate x comma y from the origin is he has given the distances so this is the important thing right uh, generally they won't give this they will say that there will man, uh, calculate the man, manhattan distance we will say manhattan distance but in this he has given it so here you are at 0 comma 0 at every point at every point x comma y whether it's positive or negative what i will do i will do only absolute of x plus absolute of y i will do this to calculate the distances to calculate the distances now let's see let's see which approach comes to your mind which approach first i will think i will insert all the values into the vector i will insert all the values into vector and i will sort the vector i will sort the vector our answer is index index of k minus 1 index of k minus 1 so how how let's see now let's see it's simple right a uh, first thing we will think okay i will use some vector i will sort it and k minus 1 will be my answer now let's see this is my input this is my input so this values is 3 this is 7 this is 5 and this is 3 right because absolute values absolute values first in the vector in the vector i am pushing 3 i am pushing 3 right or pushing 3 how many values i have only one value which is less than my obstacle k size so my answer will be minus 1 now you are encountering 7 3 comma 7 i will sort it 3 comma 7 and you want the second minimum in 3 comma 7 right if you are doing uh, v of k minus 1 k minus 1 you are, you are going to get the 7 which is 2 minus 1 v of 1 7 3 7 and now you are getting 5 now you are encountering 5 3 7 5 i will sort it which will be 3 5 7 3 5 7 index of k minus 1 is 5 right this index this index now after getting this i will push my, my another element 3 into my vector and i will sort it 3 3 5 7 at at index 
it index to I have three, so my answer will be three. So my answer is minus one, minus one, seven, five, and three. Seven, five, and three. Now if you see the time complexity, every time we are sorting the vector, every time we are sorting the vector, so it will take n into log n, and we are doing n iterations, right? Every time one, two, three, four. So how many numbers are there? Ten power five. So we are doing n iterations, n iteration. At every iterations, we are sorting. So in the worst case, my sort will take n into log of n for sorting. So n into n. So my time complexity will be n into n into log n. So if you observe here, my queries lengths are ten power five. So there are ten power five, ten power five into ten power five. It's going out of limit, out of limit. So we are definitely going to get the TLA. We are definitely going to get the TLA. So now observe. Now observe. Now you will think in an interview that uh, this this will give the TLA. Now interview will say, can you optimize it further? So you will think. Now after thinking it, you will see whenever you are having kth minimum or kth maximum, kth minimum or kth maximum, think about priority queue. Think about priority. Queue. If you see like kth minimum, kth maximum, think about priority queue. Think about priority queue and like observe like how exactly the priority queue gonna work. I I'm I'm hoping that you know priority queue. So if you don't know the priority queue, so please go and type in type in like in Google like Geek for Geeks or anywhere. You can go and learn about priority queue. Then come and watch the solution. Without knowing priority queue, it's very difficult to understand, right? So we have two types of priority queue: min heap, min heap, and max heap. We are going to have two two min heap and max heap. Now. You want you want second minimum. Now you want kth minimum, right? You want the kth minimum. Kth nearest means kth nearest means you want kth minimum. When you are saying kth minimum, kth minimum, my last value will be my like bottom value in a priority queue will be my least value. Then it will be my second least. Then it will be my third least, fourth least. And a fifth list, so that means this will be my maximum value in the priority queue. Maximum value in the priority queue. So I want I want to use max heap because I want the maximum value. So I want maximum value. I will use max heap of size k. That means my heap size won't shrink. I will use the max heap size of k. If my heap size is exceeding, if my heap size is exceeding k, I will pop the top element. After popping the top element. This my first, second, third, and this this will be my kth. This will be my answer. So, uh, if you don't understand, please don't worry. So we will see the, uh, like we will see the example. We will see the dry run part for better understanding. You will you will understand it very clearly. Now, if you see my these my values are, this will be my three, seven, five, and three, right? So we are using priority queue, which is, which is max. We are using the max. First. First, what I am doing? I am pushing three, three. Ah, uh, my pri priority queue size is two. Uh, it's less than two, right? It's less than two. So we will we will say it's minus one. Now we are getting seven, and we are using max heap. We are using max heap. My first value will be seven, and then my second value will be three. My top top value will be seven. So I will return seven. I will return seven. Now you are encountering five. You are encountering five, seven. Seven will be my max five and three. My it's exceeding my size k. Exceeding my size k. What I will do? I will pop seven. I will pop seven. My values will be five comma three, and my top will be five. And every time, every time in max heap, every time max heap, you are checking whether my size is k. If my size is exceeding k, I am popping it out. I am popping it out. And after popping, after popping it. Kth maximum will be my top element of the priority queue. Top element of the priority. I think you are understanding it. So if you if you did not understand, right? Please go for go back like thirty seconds prior and start from there. Now, then we are getting three. After getting three, my values will be five, three, three in the priority queue. It's still exceeding the size k. So I will pop the top element. After popping it, my it will be three comma three, and my top element will be three. So if you see here, minus one seven five three will be my answer. Will be my answer. Now, if you observe the time complexity, we will go n times. We will go n times, and insertion and the getting top element from the priority queue will take log of k, log of k, which is means how uh, which smallest like k smallest or 
with smallest based on that log of k so this will succeed so i hope i hope that you understood the dry run part so if you understood this right please go and try the coding part yourself because it helps you like it will help you you will think like oh if it is size greater i am doing this if it is size smaller i am doing this if it is size equal i am doing this so in this way you will think different scenarios and you will try to code right so go and try the coding part by yourself i am hoping that uh, you have tried the coding part for at least 10 to 15 minutes and uh, like yeah, if you unable to code it um, you can watch the coding part as well but i highly recommend that please go and code by yourself now which is the coding part it's straight forward and it's very simple we will use a priority queue which is my maxi this is my answer and this is my size so i will iterate and queue dot push back we uh, we want the absolute values right absolute values we are adding it and we are pushing into the priority queue if my queue size is greater than k that means in this scenario right if it is greater than k i will remove the top element i will remove the top element queue dot pop i am removing it if my size equals to k if my size equals to k here after re removing it my size is 5 5 and 3 the my size is 2 here q dot if you take the q dot top which will be my top element answer dot push back q dot top i got the k smallest then if my q dot size is less than k that means in this scenario right in this scenario you don't have any obstacles you don't have any obstacles at k minimum at k minimum you don't have any obstacles so i will push back minus 1 finally you are going to return the answer so here as i mentioned time complexity will be n into log of n and we are using the priority queue so it will be like order of n so this will be my space complexity and it will be my time complexity so if you have any doubts if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section i will try to help you if you learn something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can go there and you can join my whatsapp discussions where i will give more updates on my next videos so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye